Today on Suncoast View, residents say slow down to development on the South Trail. But maybe it won't be as slow going to get to area beaches. We'll discuss. Get your calendars out. There are some hot tickets coming to the Sun Coast. We have a special preview of what's new at the Van Wazel. Speaking of what's new, Walt Disney World has some exciting new attractions, and we've got the details from new rides to at Epcot to a Star Wars theme park. All that more right now on Sun Coast View. And welcome back to our friend Nikki Logan Curran, owner of Hi. Hitched and Honey. Hi. Hi. It's nice always to good to be you. back. Yes, thank you. Thank you. We are going to talk about Disney coming up because there's so many new things going on there. But mm -hmm. when we were talking before the show, I understand, Nikki, that you did that intern program I at did. Disney. Wow. This is like the dream of every college student. It was the best. It was supposed to be, I think, seven months. And oh my gosh, yeah. So that was my little posse that we had. Oh All the boys my. in the picture were characters. So oh, which one is you? The one in I'm in the, the white, white dress. Oh, the white dress. Yep, and that's my girlfriend Christy and Karen. And all the boys were characters, and we all lived. Those are the Disney um, condos where you, we all. You all lived. lived together. It's almost like college, right? It's like you exactly all like college, and it's crazy it, fun. It's crazy fun, and you know what? I think for me, like it was my first experience in a corporate position like that, and mm -hmm. understanding not to take stuff personal and make everybody yep. feel special and like starting you know your career in a company that cares so much about the guest mm -hmm. experience was, right. was awesome. I've recommended to any parent who has the opportunity to let their kid take a six month break but <laughs> I stayed for a year and a half so I graduated. <laughs> <all day. laughs> well I know just from the corporate structure the lessons that can be learned yeah. from them and in that environment is really great and I mean I went, to school, I went to school in Pennsylvania and I had friends that came down here and did that program so it's well renowned so that's yeah, neat. It was great. It was really she stayed an extra six months <laughs> a year. Well it proves being nice to people right. pays off in money because oh, that's yeah. what Disney does. Yep absolutely. For sure. Treats us well. Great. All right well we look forward to talking about all the new things coming to Walt Disney World coming up, but first, let's see who's in the kitchen today. We welcome Chef John Ford from Jack Dusty at the Ritz. Welcome, Chef. Hello, ladies. How are you today? Great. Hey, what are you making? Great. Excellent. We have some seared scallops and a corn ragu that we're going to have today. Oh, nice. that sounds yep. like a good summer dish. I know Absolutely. scallops are in season across our area. So Absolutely. We look forward to that. Have you ever gone scalloping, Nikki? I bet you have. No, it's on my list. Me too. And I'm working with a bride, and we had she had to reschedule a meeting because she had to go out scalloping. I'm like, I'm jealous. I know. <laughs> I want to go. I've Me never too. done it before. Just north of our area, like in the Homosassa area, there's yeah. a lot of really oh. good scalloping. Call me yeah. when you cook them. Yes. <laughs> I, I don't care about going out That was a good them. response. You don't, <laughs> want to, you don't want to dig around She's for it. I'm going to look for it. <laughs> well, I have vacation on the brain. It is great to be back with you guys yes, after vacation. vacation. It was wonderful. So we have a family cabin that we go to every year up in Lake Leelanau, which is the very northern tip of Michigan, up by Traverse City. So we took the kids out fishing. My son is a very avid fisherman, pulled in some huge lake trout, wow. which Linda, wow. we did fillet and cook. They were wonderful. There I am. I'm not really into fishing, but I'm really into sitting on the boat. <laughs> I love sitting on the boat, enjoying the sun, but after about the sixth catch, they made me reel one in. So <laughs> I did all right. But this is the real reason we go oh, is just beautiful. to be. It is 70 degrees during the day, 55 degrees at night. Cousins in the area, you can meet and hang out as much with people as you want, or you can just kick back and, and relax by the water. And relax Take a nap. And yeah. 70 in the daytime. When I went to Ireland, they said 70 in the daytime. I took two of my biggest coats because I thought, oh, <laughs> 70 is cold. It is cold. It I'm never cold gets that cold 70. here. No, but in the sun, I don't, you know what? That's where I can tell that I did grow mm. up up north. Right. So for mm -hmm. me, 75 like 70. and sunny is the perfect temperature. I struggle with the heat. I really, really do. I don't so. mind the heat. The humidity is what gets me. Right, and there isn't that up there either. Yeah. So it's nice to have a break from the weather. We got off the airplane last night and went, oh, <laughs> it's warm. It, hits you in the face. it does kind of hit you in the face. That's, of course, because it's July, but this is a good weekend to celebrate summer because we're already thinking about Christmas. Christmas oh, no. in July oh. is happening. I, this is just one of I'm my favorite. I'm not ready for this. This is just a fun thing, though, to already start decorating and thinking about shopping and presents. So Saturday on St. Armand's, there is an event going on to celebrate Christmas. Christmas in July. Uh, the Shriners Hospitals are doing things for kids so that you can go and enjoy the sales, the deals, get into the spirit, and then help uh, with the family's ability to pay for Shriners oh, Hospital with it. donations mm -hmm. and things like that. And also, I know out on Anna Maria, they're doing things as well to keep uh, 
things in the spirit for mm -hmm. Christmas. So, you know, if you're out and about this weekend, lots of good things going on. I'm still into shopping. That's I'm not into right. Christmas shopping yet, but <laughs> yes, shopping, shopping, yes. No, no. I'm not so into the shopping, but our, I work with Chef Paul Madison, and, but Chef Ray, our pastry chef, does Christmas in July Kids Camp, which oh, is next okay. week. And the kids love it. They make gingerbread houses and get all in the Christmas spirit six months ago. I remember early, him so. sharing that with us last year, the yeah. gingerbread houses. Yeah, so. I just like to eat the treats, but I don't want to do like shopping. Like to eat. <laughs> well, here's my thing on the shopping. I just realized that the year is just halfway through, and now we really have to start planning the other half of the year. Ah, yeah, it goes fast. Yeah. It goes fast. But things are on yeah, sale right now. This is a big retail sales season toward the I end know. of summer, so. You guys are getting me in the mood. I see. Ooh. I can get you in the mood <laughs> for shopping anytime. I am ready as well. All right, it is time for our first hot topic. And how much development is too much at the Trail and Sydney Point Road in Sarasota? Benderson Development wants to build apartments, condos, and hotel rooms at the corner of US 41 and Stickney Point. That's an area known as the Siesta Promenade. But neighbors have asked Ask for that development to be scaled back and now public hearings will be scheduled to discuss. There's so much going on in that part of town. Well they've had Every so many much? hearings already. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this has gone back and forth so many times. I'm on the board of the Siesta Key Chamber and the 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 resident groups in Benderson have gone back and forth, I want to say four different presentations at this point. And but it, they've actually they all have they've made points. some progress because I want to say they said they were going to try to scale back mm -hmm. some of those mm -hmm. um, their original plan. So, you know, they're moving in the right direction, so hopefully the two parties can find some happy median. And residents well, are worried the, about traffic, I right, assume. Right, the easement's going in off uh -huh. of 41, and then also cutting, zipping through their neighborhood, which you know is right. going to happen. Good. So, yeah. I think yeah. Make, is, they have to make some concessions. It took me a long time to get on 41 off Myrtle this morning, so you can imagine. Yeah. With, right. new, with new traffic down there, that's really going to be hard to get hopefully on. Hopefully they'll have a shuttle, a beach shuttle. Yeah, They'll, but who wants to ride a beach shuttle? Well, you if you're staying there in a hotel. Do, yeah, if you're living if there. You know, well, right. yeah, you're right. But hopefully if they do build um, the, the both hotel. residences and a hotel, you could just hop on their shuttle. And, and even the if I'm living not, there, a shuttle, that's a great idea. Right? You don't I mean, have to worry about parking. I'll do anything not to park even on the Even if they islands. take you to one of the Siesta Key trolley stops. They right. don't have to take you all the way through the key, but then you can hop on a trolley or, you know, there's all the free rides and all of that kind of stuff. But... You know, my thing is, you know, there there is so much development going on. Where are these people coming from? <laughs> I, that is my 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 question because like there's just development, 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 and I worry that there's not going to be people to fill those. I we, think there will be. I just think we need something for them to do. Uh, you know, we need to entertain these people. They're not going to sit in their I think they're coming for the beach. I think they're coming. I think they're coming for the beach. But we also have an arts and cultural community yes, here that. Right. That, is, that can rival a big city. It really That's can. True. So I think that we have a lot that we can offer them. My, I agree with you. It could be is traffic. Uh -huh. The traffic. Right. They've already replaced the landscaping in front of the view because it flooded on the first rain. So. Oh, jeez. Oh. Well, at least they're <laughs> learning before <laughs> everybody gets there. <laughs> we could have told you that. Yeah, it right, does well, every year. When it comes to health, mind over matter really does seem to matter. How active or physically fit you perceive yourself is being tied to your risk of premature death. This research comes to us from Health Psych psychology magazine and they say that people who think they are less active than others their age die younger than those who believe they are more active even if in reality your activity levels are equal so experts shows say this shows the powerful effects of perception on your health one reason mindset affects motivation if you feel unfit you are more likely to remain inactive I mm. thought that was very interesting because you know what? Once you get into that rut of not doing anything, it's mm -hmm. really hard yeah. to get and out of it. And you can get in that rut in two days. Well, this is motivation for me, so all I got to do is think <laughs> that I'm active. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Well, yeah. You I know that book, The <laughs> Secret? It do. says whatever you think about, you draw to you. So if you think about fitness, you're drawing fitness to you. So, so you're right. healthier. I'm fit by osmosis. Exactly. <laughs> I like this idea. This is the best idea ever. I love this study. <laughs> we're like, we're skinny, we're rich, we're happy. We got <laughs> yes. We got it. We haven't even left the couch. Yeah, we're still sitting at the table. Yeah, we're still on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> we're going with that theory on Friday. So Apple helps us celebrate Emoji Day earlier this week, of course. They revealed some new, brand new emoji cons, in case you've missed them. Here are some of the standouts. A woman wearing a purple scarf and the breast feeding mother. Now the head scarf emoji actually has a great story. It was pitched by a Saudi Arabian girl who said she just wanted an emoji of her. And since we've now, you know, done more emojis with different skin tones, I think that is a great one. When would one. we use that? You or wouldn't. You, you probably wouldn't. wouldn't unless you were speaking of someone perhaps with someone a head scarf. Wants, someone that looks like that one an emoji that so looks like that. So she would use it all the time? Probably. 
Yeah, because right. that's what she identifies with. Now, the breastfeeding mother one made me I'm going to start a using bit. that one. That's, you are? <laughs> that's sort of a short term <laughs> thing over a lifetime. I uh -huh. will say, I have been waiting for the dinosaur, the zebra. We're still missing a, a burrito. The zombie. The zombie I love. <laughs> what the is the one I love? To that? I'm not sure what the one in the upper right is. Bad hair. Is that Kalisa? That it's is. Elfie or something like that. I don't know. That one's a little weird. All right, then there's new smiles. The new smiles always make me laugh. The barf one is pretty funny, I have to tell you. I hope I don't get somebody saying that to something that I say. <laughs> yeah, we, I thought we had something. I, we had oh, a no, barf he was green. He just has yes. a green sick. face. Yeah, yeah now this is like truly you're making me sick. Uh, you're mind blown on I like the top that one. right. That's I, cute. I like that That's one. me when I'm angry. My head What well, stars? What does that mean? I've got stars in my eyes. I like you. I think oh. something different maybe than the hearts in your eyes, the stars in your eyes. Yeah. Starstruck. Yeah. When you see Justin Bieber, you'd send that one. I would send not send that one when I see Justin Bieber. <laughs> right. okay. When you see Kenny Rogers, you'd send that one. I'm trying, Linda. Help me. Willie Nelson. Hey, Kenny Rogers. <laughs> I, you don't like Willie Well, you tell I us do who. like Willie Nelson. Who are I you can, starstruck for? Yeah, who's your starstruck? You know, I'm not really starstruck for people. I got over that long, long no, ago. No, you got to have a crush. I don't have crushes Linda on people. Linda, next to George Clooney on, at the you know, hotel airport. People. George <laughs> Clooney would do it. I have a crush on Oh, I on know Ken. one. Yes. I was going to say Ken. the singer. The yes. Actor. yes. That's Ken yes. Christopher yes. is our singer and that is performed here. And he is touring the world here. with a playwright so now. So when you see him, you can send those stars. I do have stars in my eyes when he sings. Okay, I've already good. asked him to sing at my funeral. We so I'm found someone. Around. Stop right. saying that. I don't like it. I just hope that. he lives just long enough. Just perceive that you're going to live a long time, and it wraps it. Remember, I, all yes. you have to do is perceive it, and it's going to happen. I'm thinking 130, so I'm good. All right, all very right. good. So if you want a little art to brighten up your day, it's only a text message away, thanks to a San Francisco museum. This is a great concept to me. The Museum of Modern Art lets you text them like a feeling or what you need to be happy that day and they send you an image of a work of art. And you can do base it on what mood you're in. Say um, send a sunshine, send a coffee, send an earth. And then they use those key words to choose a piece of art and send it to you as kind of like your daily inspiration. Or you can okay. look out your window. Or you can down just here. Google some pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't know. I kind of like the concept <laughs> of I need a little I need a little naked man today, and then there'll be some art posing. You know, oh. Google has a lot of images. Oh, no, 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 that's a different thing. <laughs> I just like thing. to look out my window. You know, it's just so beautiful out there. Yeah. And you live here so long, you don't even think to look out. You know, you don't even think to look around you. So I'm a if big I looker. Pause, that's I'm a good. looker. I'm a looker. I drive to St. Pete all the time, and I will never be tired of driving no, the bridge. Either. Oh, that yeah. bridge. Or even beautiful. just driving to St. Norman's. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I don't I agree. ever get tired of that drive. And you know what I think I mean, to myself? Florida's very picturesque in general. So if we just stop wherever we are, there's some beauty somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yes, and yes. And since I spent so much of my adult life up north, I used to pay thousands and thousands of dollars to come here for the weekend. Right. Mm -hmm. Because it was that special. Like we live wow. where we vacation. We live yeah. here. Yep. So, yes, that's a great reason to just look around. So, all right. So you bring a... Joey, did you have a still that you said you had pulled down of that? Yeah. Nope. Yes, we did. There we go. So what did you type in? He typed in rain picnic. I don't know. I don't, what is that? I don't want to be sent that one. Oh, he typed in sunshine and they sent him rain picnic. Oh, All right. Okay. I guess I can see that. He typed in Florida and he got the series Sea Islands. Okay. Never heard of Sea Island. I haven't either. Is this for There is in, in well, Georgia. There well, is this is why you're getting pictures from the museum and not from Google because they can show you things you never knew about. If you type in things to Google, scary things happen. <laughs> True. <laughs> you have to be True. very, very careful about that. I still say just look around you. We've I got agree the most with beautiful you. Views look out anywhere. the window and enjoy the sunshine. And we're going to check out the happy hour forecast, speaking of sunshine. And when we come back, we're going to talk to the Van Wazel about the hot tickets coming our way. Thanks, Stephanie. Boy, did we have some fireworks across the area this morning. A lot of lightning, heavy downpours, and it really uh, came down in some spots over an inch or two. Now, those storms, for the most part, have moved east, but there are more developing. And if we zoom into the Sun Coast, uh, we can see that not much going on except uh, out toward Mayaka City to Duet. Uh, those storms are moving away. They have a lot of lightning, so if you're out there, be alert to it. Strongest storms right now are moving from Tampa Bay over toward Lakeland, Orlando, and to the Atlantic coast. And that's a pattern we're going to see for the rest of today and tonight, in fact. Here's a future cast that takes us for the next uh, 12 hours, showing storms not only moving east, but others developing right on through the evening hours, thinning out overnight. And I think uh, winds will become light and variable, but another round of it is likely again tomorrow. And here the temperature is cooling off to the upper 70s uh, by sunrise. Coming up on ABC 7 News at 5, 6, and 7, we'll have a look at the tropics, which are beginning to calm down, as well as our local forecast for the whole weekend. 
We may still be in the thick of summer heat, but it's never too early to start thinking about fall and to get the inside scoop of the coming season's hottest tickets. And here with a preview of what to expect at the Van Wezel is the executive director, Mary Benzel. Mary, it does seem early to talk about the fall and winter season. I know, season, you were But you're always planning. Well, I mean, I started on Lion King, which is coming in not next year, but the following year. About eight years ago. So eight years yeah. ago, That's crazy. you're the big shows, woman. right? <laughs> and it, it is strange because I work on Christmas shows so early. Like I am starting in September for the following year, and now it's just that last chug to get these stars. The bigger stars confirm last, and they are. It can be a real pain. It's, oh, it really can. It's like hurting like, cats. Oh, it is like hurting cats, and it's like, oh, can you do this day or that day, or you know, and it just moves and moves and moves. But we work so far in advance. And That's you want amazing. To Yes. Yeah, that you was sure exciting. Did. We've six times been named the number one performing arts hall in our size theater, and that's in the country, and that's wow. fantastic. Oh. And and I agree with you when you said there is so much in this arts season, it, you know, that to bring people to town. That next to the beach, mm -hmm. I think that's what does. Yeah. It. Because you can only go to the beach in the daytime. Then you right. want something find fun something to do at night. Absolutely. Yes, yes. Absolutely. And all your planning is paying off because you got a lot of good shows. Apparently. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do. And, and of course, tonight we have Friday Fest, which is great fun. That's our outdoor concert series. And tonight is Kettle of Fish. And they do all sorts of music. And that goes from 5 to 9 o'clock. I'll be there from 5 to 7. Oh, my ABC gosh. 7 has a booth. <laughs> so we'll all be taking turns there tonight. And it's so much fun to see everybody dancing. It is. People get up and dance in the front and, and you know, Linda, we often uh, have prizes that we give away too, and so we have a bunch of these coming. We have a uh, jaw movement on August 25th. That's the group oh, with Chantel fun. Norman, wow. and she just knocks it out of the oh, park. She is so great. Awesome. She oh. is awesome. Oh, it's great. Now you got some great shows coming up right we do. away we before do. the season. Well, you know, I got a call, and they said, "Would you like to do Tony Bennett in September?" And normally, that's not the best time of the year for us. Mm -hmm. I mean, because a lot of people aren't here. But I said, you know what? I want to have Tony Bennett any time I can get him because he is amazing. I mean, he's over 90 now. Yeah. Oh, my and goodness. My kind of man. And it's September 8th. <laughs> there, there she's no, going. Maybe you can start. Start. Yeah. There you could. I could. September 8th, we've already sold over 800 tickets. Wow. And it's going to be a big hit. We, You know, so I'm really excited about Tony Bennett because he's such a sweet guy. And Aww. he reinvented himself with Lady Gaga. I really think he yeah. did. Yeah. You know, he stays fresh. And, and Celtic really Thunder's good. coming. Yes, yeah. and this time it's with a huge orchestra. It's it's a big orchestra with a symphony, and these guys are hot. I mean, they are they are just gorgeous. <laughs> you know, I still I still have crushes. You know, I'm not with you, Linda. I'm with you, <laughs> oh, ladies. Oh, I I right. love these guys. Look that's at, November oh, 15th. So I know, I know. And in the kilts, you know, they're not supposed to wear anything under them, so you never know. <laughs> 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 Straight No Chaser. Now, Straight I don't know no what chaser. that is. Oh, this is also a great fun show. These guys sing a cappella, and they're the ones that are so famous for singing the 12 Days of Christmas that they do this whole wild interpretation. And again, they're not hard on the eyes, and they're great on the ears, and they're so much fun. It's a great, great show. So I'm going to have a great week that week, and this time they're doing their Speak Easy Tour. So okay. that is on oh, November oh, 16th. Yeah. And, and you've got Salute to Vienna. Yeah, you talk about Christmas shows. Well, this is a New Year's show, and this is, I went to Vienna a couple of years ago. I don't know mm -hmm. if any of you have been, and it's gorgeous. And they have this fabulous show every year with <laughs> dancing, and, 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 and it's just a, it's a tradition, and I think this is going to be our 14th or 15th year. Oh, wow. And that's January 3rd. And then, you know, I have over 100 shows coming next year, and we're getting ready to <laughs> announce Excuse them. Me. You know, in August, um, we're going to be announcing August 27th, and then um, they'll go on sale for all of the shows. Some of them go roll out early. There's mm -hmm. like two more that are going to roll out very soon, two new shows. Well, I know everyone is waiting for that list in August. I know, and I... I'm waiting for it to be confirmed as well, <laughs> I'll tell you. And so that's, um, tickets will be on sale September 9th for every show in the season. And then we add them as we go because I am chasing a very elusive star for our gala. And it's, it's been a tough one this year. So I'm, I'm, I'm there plugging away. So, you know, with the big Broadway shows, you're out five, six years in advance. I mean, mm -hmm. I've already got... Three years from now, um, what Broadway is is up to? Wow! Oh, we can't wait. Yeah, I am waiting for that list. Well, you can visit. <laughs> I'm losing my voice. You are. Uh -oh. I'll over from here. You can go to the Van Wazel <coughs> website for more information on all of these shows that Mary mentioned. We'll of course be waiting for the big announcement of the next yes. upcoming season in August. Coming up next, we're going to talk about Walt Disney World's newest additions. Thanks.
thanks to my volunteer, I am a better reader. Thanks to my volunteer, math seems simple now. Thanks to my volunteer, I discovered new career goals. I'm a volunteer for Sarasota County Schools, so I know I can make a difference. And you can too. Give an hour, change a life. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate or shop at Goodwill, I am creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah, yeah. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. Watch ABC7 wherever you are. Just search ABC7 on your streaming device to keep up with the Sun Coast from the comfort of your couch. Download ABC7 now to watch us on TV anytime you want. ABC7, we're here for you wherever you are. Welcome back. There's always something new going on at Walt Disney World. And this past week, Disney unveiled plans for some of the other new attractions that are coming. So our producer, Matt Lydell, also our Disney aficionado, and more probably <laughs> appropriately, our Star Wars guy, uh -huh. is here. Because I know that you are very much looking forward to this big buzz about what's coming for Star Wars. Really excited, yeah. Uh, they had the D23 event, which I think they do every year, which is just a big kind of Disney convention. And it's for the movies, it's, it's for the theme parks, it's for everything you can imagine. And so they were like, we've got a lot of new stuff going on, not just at Walt Disney World, but like all, like across the world, like all the right. parks. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, like the Star Wars one is the big one that's okay, happening. Okay, so let's oh, wow. talk about yeah. that. What is coming and when yeah. will we start to see some ideas? So 2019 is when everything uh, really starts up. Uh, it's going to be in California and Orlando. Uh, this was really unique about this. We sort of talked about this with that new Pandora opening is we're getting away from just opening a ride for a movie. We're opening whole areas for something. Mm -hmm. It's really like, hey, we're just going to completely envelop you and just like what it's like to be in this world or just experience these types of things. What's really interesting about this, there's going to be two new rides, but they're somehow going to be tracking what you do in the park from like area to area Creepy. every 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 <laughs> Big brother those yeah. bracelets <laughs> yeah there are, people are thinking it'll be like the magic fans or something right. but like every cast member is going to be like in character as like some sort of like star wars like kind of character right. and they're saying that like there's like one ride where you like uh, you pilot the Millennium Falcon and like you may go to the restaurant that's there and like your server like may make a comment to you about like oh that was nice flying or just be like oh you kind of crashed a couple times there what was that and it's just oh, like they're wow. gonna have like your information the whole know. time there and stuff yeah oh Bobeth's not gonna like that <laughs> I'm not gonna like Bobeth will feel like she's being watched and that's all inside Hollywood Studios yeah, correct that's, yeah that's all inside but what's really cool is that's going to extend into the new resort that they're making wow. so they're doing a whole Star Wars resort and they're treating it almost like a cruise ship sort of from what I understand oh, wow. they haven't Whoa. said too much about what they're doing okay, but that's like really cool looking. it's really cool so like what they're gonna do is you're going to get there everything that you do in the park is somehow going to affect what happens in the resort oh, wow. when you go into uh, your hotel room there's no window or anything it's just a screen so everyone's gonna be like 
it's like you're traveling across like whatever in space and you're going past planets you're landing on different uh in different ports and stuff like that oh wow so they're trying to make it and uh from what i understand it's going to be uh, either very close or connected to that park uh so they're really trying to make it feel like you could basically just go straight from the hotel straight to the that park. area. Yeah. Which is smart. And yeah, yeah, it's really oh, cool. Yeah, because yeah. mm -hmm. then you'd have to do several days to get in the different <laughs> right, areas. Right. Yeah. And be moving around more. Mm -hmm. Well, that speaking of really the different smart. areas, mm -hmm. we're also starting to see some freshening up, if you will, of some of the existing parts. Yeah, they're, they're kind of doing a lot of changes to Epcot. Um, I've seen a lot of people say that Epcot feels very much of the 80s when it mm. first kind of like launched. I kind of like it about that. I do too. But I yeah, uh, but they're really saying we're gonna like we're kind of like gonna modernize it and stuff. Uh, some of the things they're doing is they're changing like the Paris area. They're adding a Ratatouille ride and they're gonna oh, do okay. something there in the World uh, Showcase. So yeah, and they're uh, doing a bunch of stuff to like the Mission Space ride because that ride's really just a screen you look at. And so they're like, yeah, we're gonna have you like do new adventures on it. We're adding like a restaurant there. So they're, they can, it's cool that they can keep updating and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that's important because when you go to Disney, you feel like you don't want to go back because yeah, you, you, just there. There. Yes. you just mm -hmm. went and you've already experienced uh -huh. sure. it. Mm -hmm. so yeah, which is, is really cool. Going. Yeah, and then uh, the next thing is uh, also a Hollywood Studios that it's opening up next year is uh, they're doing a Toy Story Land. Uh, everything I've kind of seen from this is it's maybe going to be aimed like towards younger kids. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's roller coasters and stuff, but they seem like a lot milder compared to right. kind of other stuff. Yeah. I like yeah. that. <laughs> we, we need something for the little ones. Well, yeah. and at Hollywood Studios, there isn't a lot for the younger kids to sure. do. It they tends need... to be more the teenage mm -hmm. crowd. Mm -hmm. Here's my prediction on this one. The Toy Story ride always has the longest line. Yeah. I mean, two hours every single day so that they realize how popular it is. Mm -hmm. Let's make a whole land on it. Right. Mm -hmm. Sure, so, definitely. So, smart way to capitalize on that yeah and then uh, one a really quick thing uh, and this is like a couple years uh, away is they're doing a Tron ride at Magic Kingdom wow. uh, in the oh. Tomorrowland area uh, they actually had this already in uh, Shanghai and it kind of you basically you sit on this thing like it's a bike so it kind of is like that ride that we did uh, at Pandora, but it's an actual roller coaster. Oh, so wow. you're like leaning on that move. thing. Oh, wow. So yeah. we're gonna, oh, they're going to add a roller coaster yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, so and it's going to go around that entire area. So that it's probably going to look cool. something like this. And yeah, it's I really cool. I can't even look at that. I like <laughs> that. And, all right, well, we love to hear about the things that are coming right in our neighborhood with Walt Disney World. So thank you, yes. Matt, for that. We appreciate that update. And coming up next, we're going to talk about some new things showing up on Kickstarter as well. Stay with us. Attention blood thinner users. Thousands of blood thinner users may have been exposed to serious risk by these dangerous medications. If your loved one took Xarelto or Prodex and suffered serious internal bleeding, call right now. Call Nightline Legal to speak with an experienced attorney for a free consultation. If we don't win, there is no fee. There are time deadlines to file a claim, so don't wait. Call right now. Call 1-800-554-3987. Again, that's 1-800-554-3987. This is an important medical announcement. Xeralto and Pradoxa have been linked to uncontrollable bleeding and even death. If you've been prescribed one of these drugs and have experienced these dangerous side effects, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. Studies show that Pradoxa can cause more heart attacks than warfarin, and other countries have already issued safety warnings against this drug. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. The call is confidential. There's no cost, and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to Pradoxa victims, and thousands of Xarelto victims are filing their legal cases. Call the Drug Watch Hotline. If you or a loved one used Xeralto or Pradoxa and experienced uncontrollable bleeding, brain hemorrhage, or even death, you must call now. Call 800-793-6055. 800-793-6055. This is your brain. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? Um, yeah, I have questions. Prescription drugs aren't as bad as street drugs, right? Weed's legal, isn't it? Drinking is worse than smoking weed. Isn't it? Why it is heroin, heroin so, so addictive? Molly just makes you feel happy. I have questions. Mom? Dad, did you ever try drugs? They're going to ask. Be ready. Go to drugfree.org. A message from Partnership for Drug-Free Kids. Growing up, my mom was afraid of the water, something she did not want me to feel. So I enrolled Missy in swim lessons. 
It changed my life. Missy Franklin. And now you can do the same for someone that you love. There's nothing more precious than your child's well-being. So act now before it's too late. Make a splash! I'm glad I did. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Visit USAswimmingfoundation.org to find, get, or give a swim lesson. Welcome back to Suncoast View. We're going to check in with Chef John Ford from Jack Dusty at the Ritz and find out about some new things headed to the menu at the end of summer. What are we looking at, Chef John? Hey, all right. Yeah, so we know Jack Dusty is a world traveler. He's an explorer, so he's kind of gone around. He's found some new things. He's bringing them back to share with us here in Sarasota. Uh, so we're going to be checking out some new summer items, some new crudos, some share plates. Uh, we're going to revamp some of the uh, entrees as well and make, maybe put a little fresh pasta on the menu and whatnot. So Ooh, sounds we're really great. excited for everything we're doing here. Okay, and we're excited about scallops. We'll see you in a few minutes. Absolutely. Thank Bye you. Bye, Beth. Well, some of the most innovative products on the market get their start on crowdfunding sites like Kickstarter. And product expert Colin Trithui is here with some of the most unique Kickstarter ideas out there right now. All right, so Colin, let's start off with explaining what crowdfunding is and how some of these products get off. Yeah, it's really an incredible thing uh, that helps a lot of entrepreneurs that normally wouldn't have the funding to be able to launch a product. It's one of the biggest challenges when you have a new idea, a great invention. You can't get the uh, several hundred thousand dollars you need to go and manufacture the product. Mm -hmm. So this allows people to pre-order a product on the site called kickstarter.com and pay for a product in advance because they believe in it and they believe in the entrepreneur. And if you get enough people to buy the product in advance, then it goes into manufacturing. If you don't, everyone gets their money back. Okay. So it's a great way to, to actually finance a product. And this is, this is one I, I can show you right off the top here if you want. I like the jacket. This, jacket. Yeah, this is called the X suit. And this is, uh, this is kind of the revolution of the suit. We've had mm -hmm. the same kind of suits for, you know, hundreds of years, really. This has uh, incredible flexible ability. See how I'm... Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's right. Uh, you can work out. Yeah, I'm, actually, I'm actually wearing... This is actually two sizes smaller. I just wanted to show how oh. it flexes because I can... Normally, right. if you do that with a suit, you're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> It's also uh, completely water resistant. Um, it's li it's uh, repellent, liquid repellent. Um, it's uh, odor proof. I don't know oh, if you. Odor proof <laughs> is a good thing. We I like like special it. materials. But do you want to do you want to challenge me on the waterproof? Uh, I want to give me. A, do you have a, some water there? You, uh, give it a go. What, just pour it on yeah, you. Pour it right on. Does me. your mother know about this? <laughs> okay. She'll find out. Yeah. Oh. Just right down the sleeve or anywhere you like. You it. ask for it. Okay. okay look out. <laughs> down the shoulder. Woo! But oh wow! You see how it, just, it actually beads right off there. Would yeah. you clean it up that really water now? Yeah. That's a right 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 bit of a mess. So. Oh, it is not wet. Oh, there's the towel. Yeah, well, we got it out. Yeah, so it beads right off. So you can spill a glass, oh, of, glass of wine at a wedding. Look, it's not that even is. wet. Yeah. So the the towel's wet. His suit is right, not exactly. even wet. Oh, that's perfect for Florida. Yeah, you got it. And you were telling me not only so it stretches, it's water resistant and smell resistant. Yeah, it's odor proof. It has uh, it's it's with uh, antibacterial material, so you can wear it basically forever. They actually have a hood. I don't smell a thing. <laughs> <laughs> and is this have one you watched close it? to being approved? Is the, it something? Yeah, this one has seen? gone well beyond its goal. It's raised oh, over good. three hundred thousand dollars. It's wow. very popular. It's on Kickstarter right now. You would search for X space suit X suit. Wow. Are, there, are there pants? It's a full suit. It's a full suit, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. So get wow. pants too. Yep. So we'll be able to buy and the it. Pan, the best thing about the pants is they're actually stretch pants. So if you're, oh, okay. well, that's, that's good enough. Yeah. That's good enough. You're, you're at the gross. buffet, or so, and they look super cool. I just I didn't wear them because my the size was a bit small for me. I mean, I could have worn them because they stretch forever. <laughs> but <laughs> you didn't want to wear skinny idea. jeans today. Yeah, <laughs> so. they're like buffet pants. So, yeah. All right. So another thing you brought yeah, is um, let me a grab, carry on. Yeah, this is really cool. So X suit is is also great for travel. You can jam it into a carry on bag, and it doesn't. Wrinkle. I forgot that. Oh, that's a this oh, is yeah. the uh, this is wandered. This is the Hexad uh, carry on duffel all all carry on. It's quite amazing. It's got you go from this to this oh. to this. Oh, wow. So anyway, it's a long list of. Uh, oh, so backpack. you can carry yeah. multiple ways. Yeah. Exactly, and it's loaded. There are so many pockets in here I can't even describe. It also has this see this padding on the back. Yeah. So yeah. it's basically nice. trying to make travel cool and functional. And uh, there's a laptop. It's also a laptop case. 
Oh, that's so anyway, the yeah. part. So Let's see good. this. You said a laptop case right here. Yeah, you slide in your laptop. And there's RFID pockets. There's so many pockets in here. It'd be hard to, to describe here in, in short uh, short amount of time. Wow. So it doesn't but, uh, have to be a product that nobody's ever like seen no, before concept wise because obviously we've seen cool carry outs. Yeah, yeah the most the most popular ones are products that solve a problem and this basically they started with a camera bag for uh, telephoto lenses okay. and it was so popular they raised so much money they had a lot of demand for just a regular carry on that every yeah. everyday travelers Great. could use. Wow. So this is what that is. And the, I put a couple more. This is uh, Wandered is the company which is Let's have that. Okay. Yeah, W A W A N D R D wandered.com. And uh, I put a few more travel products in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so let's do the Airbus nope. first. Yeah, for sure. So tell so us this, about yeah, these. Yeah, these are different. This is uh, Starbrick, and it's, they're called Starbrick B4, mm -hmm. which is, uh, you can try them on. No one's worn these ones, actually, if you want. But uh, B, B, E is the symbol for beryllium, mm -hmm. and this metal has an incredible quality of uh, creating the, the purest, most natural sound. The concept oh, wow. behind these oh, is... Wow is that they are actually, uh, it's like listening to live music. There's this resonance that goes beyond your regular earbuds. So they've used beryllium and uh, called it B4, which is BE4, kind of a I just name. like the look of it. It's very yeah, they they do look very cool. Yeah. And they're great for uh, you know conference calls and all that stuff, too. It's got the microphone. Oh. I did. I watched so, a movie oh, wearing yeah. headphones on just on my laptop, and I've never, I don't think I've ever done that before. Oh, yeah, and right. I heard so many things that I'd, I'd seen the movie before, oh, and yes. I'd, it, the, it was transformative. I couldn't. Because you heard so many details. Yeah, the details. You, and the right. surround sound and the speakers yeah. were unreal. No, yeah. exactly yeah. right. Yeah, and that's so that's starbrickinc.com is the site. And, and this feeling is, yeah. on this pillow, and this is amazing. <laughs> okay, tell this me how is this is different. This is remarkable. This raised over a million dollars. So if really? you, I don't know if you thought this title was out there, but this is the most funded travel pillow in crowdfunding history. It raised one one point <laughs> one million dollars. And the reason it raised so much money is it, it, it creates a complete different experience. I'll show you just quickly. This goes behind the wing back. It's for long haul flights. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, so you have back support and yeah. next. Oh. This goes behind the wing back on your seat. Right. And then you get the massage chair. Oh. You actually get the massage chair. They, they show in the video the, the picture of the person sleeping. So you sleeping. slump down like and that. it holds you. You just drop your head in as if you're in a massage chair getting a massage. Oh. So it's facecradle.com. And this, this strap goes to different lengths. And goes over. You know how you have a wing back on the, yeah. on the long haul oh, makes flights, perfect right. sense. so you don't go over your back seat's uh, video screen. Right. Yeah. And I've used this a couple of times now. I've only had it for a few Is months. Is it comfortable to, to slump forward to sleep? I a, tried to sleep go. like that without forward. these pillows. It's just to go way down if you put your head on it's the just, right. It's just your head, I yeah. Like this. And it goes to a whole bunch of different. Uh, yeah, you angles. can go to different angles, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's a nice concept because so it's really hard to sleep like that. Yeah. 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 Like that. Yeah. Well, these are some really unique ideas. I'm liking this. Okay, good. Crowdfunding thing. <laughs> but yeah. you guys can visit. I'll be glad to pour some coffee on you. Yeah, come on, bring it on. Let's do it. No more Let's pouring, no more no, pouring. Okay. Coffee. But you guys can visit PR Media Now's website to get more details about some of their other crowdfunding that. ideas as off. Linda keeps trying to wet Colin up over here. It's yeah. not even wet. Colin, it's thank you so much for being a good me, yeah. sport and all right. bringing all this stuff. Next, we're going to bring classic Hollywood style to your home. We'll be right back. Start your day with a new Good Morning Suncoast team. Weekday starting at 5 a.m. So many possibilities worth exploring. Minnesota flooring. Looking for carpet? Look no further. Minnesota flooring has smart strand carpet as low as $1.79 per square foot. Installed, no add-ons or extras. Unbelievable? Minnesota flooring can have in-stock carpet installed in your home in 48 hours for as low as $1.99 per square foot. Don't miss these prices. Visit Minnesota flooring today. From our studios on Florida's Sun Coast, this is an ABC7 News Update. Good afternoon, I'm Haley Wilkes. Here's what we're working on for 5 o'clock. A Bradenton woman charged after more than $75,000 was taken from an elderly victim. How the detectives learned about the charges. And a Sarasota doctor charged with unlawful practice. How patients protect themselves who are suffering and maybe being treated by unlicensed practitioners. Now, let's head over to Steve. Thanks, Haley. We had those strong storms this morning, but during the afternoon, you should see by satellite, just some high clouds blowing around, some storms in northern Manatee County that have been uh, producing a lot of lightning up around Duet and Wachula. But you can see a whole broad area of thunderstorms that are not only going to happen today, but will happen tomorrow as well. Coming up on ABC 7 News at 5, I'll have the complete weather picture and a tropical outlook that shows things are quieting down quite a bit. Stay tuned. 
the official Suncoast Storm Team at ABC7. We're here for you. Who else has been taking your prescriptions? Keep your medicine and your family safe and secure. Mind your meds. To learn how we can help, visit the Partnership for Drug-Free Kids at drugfree.org. I knew I could get myself out of this. I just needed some hope and some help. I took the first step to recovery when I made the call. Since 2014, Addiction Hope and Helpline has answered calls for recovery and treatment 24-7, 365 days a year. If you're depressed, drinking, using drugs, or taking pills, call now and talk to someone who cares. I had problems just getting to sleep, drinking, and using pills every night. I feel like I'm losing control. I'm afraid I'll lose my job or even my family. Most insurance covers substance abuse. You can get back on track. Call now for hope and help with proven gentle recovery programs. I never thought that I could be somebody who didn't drink and use drugs. I have something to hold on to for strength. I'm in recovery, getting the help I need. Call 800-622-1941. 800-622-1941. The golden age of Hollywood is known for its glamour and glitz, and with recent movies and TV shows showing this era of decadence, we're now seeing the golden age returning to our home decor. Here to show us how we can capture some of the glitz and glam of the golden age at an affordable price is Diane Creasy. She's the owner and designer of Epic Home Decor in Lakewood Ranch. Welcome. Thank you. Glad to be here. Oh, how beautiful. Yeah. Uh, we are, we are we're all in ooh and on right now. We're feeling very classy looking yeah. at all this. Really so glamorous. explain Hollywood Regency style. What exactly does that mean? Well, it's really the glamour of Hollywood. So you take your, yourself back to the 1930s and the it was the golden age and the silver screen. So hence they started building the tones in the houses of the silver tones, metal and the gold to infuse that in to uh, evoke this larger than life persona, yeah. which is what the screen stars had. Mm -hmm. So they wanted to infuse that into their homes and then have, you know, Hollywood, you know, personified in their entertainment spaces like we're seeing now. Um, this is the bar area, so you want some glitz and some glamour. You don't have to do it in your whole house, but just sparsing in some great cocktail uh, things and here and we have the color yes yeah. yeah here we have the distressed mirrored look and the nice wallpaper and the leopard pillows and Ooh. the black and white and the chandelier but nothing too opulent okay mm -hmm. just infusing a little bit of you know larger than life glitz and it's and kind glamour. of sexy too yeah, it's sexy. got like an edge it's to it exactly but it doesn't seem like you have to redo the entire home you don't and that's what this is all about you know we have just little things at uh, as an example here that you can infuse in that gives you that glamorous look pieces. without making pieces, without right. redoing your whole room or wow. making it too over the top. All right, well, let's talk Speaking about some of, of the pieces. pieces. Yeah. Look at this. this. We yeah. absolutely love the look of the decanter and glasses. Tell us about those. Well, when you invite your friends over, your girlfriends over, and you want to have, you know, a little bit of party, it's just nice to have the Hungarian crystal oh. where it's a little bit more fancy and glamorous and it's a conversation piece. Mm -hmm. And it's red, which you wouldn't expect. Exactly. Yeah. I love that. Yes. Okay, That's now, only a pop. in addition to, you did mention the bar lifestyle being part of it, um, yes. pillows are a great way to add accent in a room without having to redo the whole thing. Right. So what would pillows of this era mean? Again, in the great room that we saw the pictures of, you can have this fluffy Mongolian uh, wool pillow that you see there, or a red velvet, or a leopard. You know, just a few to parse in to just you know, jazz things up a little bit. That looks pretty that jazzy. Jazz. Yes. It's working. Yes. Yeah, it seems like the unexpected is part of the decorating yeah. style, too. And, and, and it, I'm sorry, but it, it does, you know, teach you to talk about things like that. You know, mm -hmm. like, oh, what's this about? And, you know. Speaking of talking about things, so I instantly, as soon as I saw this when you sat down, I picked this up. So the little binoculars, and you said you can, you know, even just put this out on, the, on a pillow, and it's just like a conversational piece. Yes, these are Parisian. They're antique. They're uh, mother of pearl, Ooh, and they're, they're opera glasses, yeah. which are functional, and you can use them, but I set them out on these little handmade sachet bags as just little accessories because, again, at a cocktail party, you want to be 
talking just like you are yeah. about what is this? Oh, this is neat. Or you can and spy on your neighbor in the pool. I was thinking that too <laughs> because they do work. Like that. With bird yeah. A lot of people took those to Diana Ross when she was here to see if she had wrinkles. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Well, I love the surprise factor of a lot of these, and this is the ultimate in surprise yes. to me. Uh, it looks like an octopus. Yes, it does. A gold octopus. A gold of octopus. Well, what? Glasses. Yeah. What and would we use this for? And they're shot glasses. Oh. oh. So again, going back back to having a little entertainment get together at your home, infusing some glamour. You put the shots in. It could be Patron. It could be, you know, whatever your I'm drink of choice. Is. What a fun yes. presentation. And then, you know, you play little games and you say, okay, everybody does a shot. And you grab it from the octopus. <laughs> it's just something fun. I or you like could, it. Speaking well, of the bar it. atmosphere, yeah, this bar cart is stunning. It reminds me of something I used to see in my grandmother's house. Exactly. It's a, a replica of a little bar car. Because it's shaped oh, like a car yeah. with the wheels. Oh, I see that. And yeah, it's just a nice thing. You know, you roll it out. And again, it's part of the get the party started kind of thing mm -hmm. at home for mm -hmm. home entertainment that is coming back. You know, you see this on Mad Men and shows mm -hmm. like that and right. television that, you know, it's going I back like to that, that glamour, back to the cocktail parties. Not everybody wants to go out all the time. Mm -hmm. So right. you can have girlfriends over, and it's not going to be boring when you have all these kind of fun little things. <laughs> hey, if that is on wheels, I can wheel it right into the room. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, of course, your store is, uh, and the San Marco Plaza and Lakewood Ranch, Epic it Home is. Decor. What other yes. kind of things will we see there? Everything to furnish your home. So we have big pieces. We mm -hmm. have uh, some armoires. We have beds. We have, you know, all kinds of different sofas, linens, leathers, those nice, elegant, tufted Chesterfield leather sofas. Right. And smaller things like uh, the things that we have on display here. Okay, whether you're looking for larger, home, larger small changes for your home, you can find them at Epic Home Decor in Lakewood Ranch, or you can check out their website. Thanks for sharing. Yes, thank Lots you. of fun things here. We love the glam and oh, yeah. the We are one step closer as well to the kitchen. Stay with us. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Rose takes her volunteering for Tidewell Hospice very seriously. But she knows how to have fun, too. And that's what she brings when we're invited to visit patients as part of Tidewell's pet therapy program. People love to see her. She really brightens their day. She makes people smile. And in end-of-life care, a smile can be a wonderful gift. Tidewell Hospice. It's more than you think. This is an important medical announcement. Barred IVC filters have been linked to punctured veins and problems with migration. Anyone who's received a barred IVC filter must receive medical monitoring and may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you have the Bard Recovery G2 or G2 Express filter, you are in a class of patients who should be compensated for some expenses. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to people who should have been warned about the risks of the Bard IVC filters. Call the IVC filter hotline if you or a loved one has received an IVC filter and experienced a vein puncture or required medical monitoring. You must call now. Call 800-329-3089. 800-329-3089. ABC 7, My Suncoast News. We're here for you. Watch My Suncoast News wherever you are. On our live stream, on our newly redesigned MySuncoast.com, and a brand new ABC 7 My Suncoast app, powered by the I Associates, providing sight for life, featuring traffic maps and live radar, and dining with recipes and all the hottest Suncoast restaurants. Visit MySuncoast.com and click on the mobile tab to download the ABC 7 My Suncoast app for iOS and Android. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7. Inaction is not an option. And frankly, I don't think we should leave town unless we have a health insurance plan. President Trump not giving up on repeal and replace. This as we learn about a second meeting with Putin and new details about a meeting with Russian officials. I'm Alan Cohn. We'll have analysis of the week in Washington. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you.
Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Welcome back. Well, as you know, O.J. Simpson has been back in the news this week, and Linda had a personal relationship with him as a family friend. As a family friend. As a family friend. Yes, he was, yeah. he was a good friend sure of my husband. Terrified. Bud was a, a coach in the NFL for about 28 years. He knew O.J. well, and he was a defensive coach, so he picked O.J.'s brain all the time. You're seeing here when O.J. was with NBC, he was a commentator for football. He came out to our house, and he did a story about my career in television, and he he was just a great guy. Right before the Thanksgiving game in 1989, he was going to be the commentator. Bud was already in Detroit for the game, so he came to my house, and a blizzard hit in Cleveland. So he and spent so the night? He spent the night. <laughs> so he spent the night, and I kept saying to Bud, OJ, all night long, we sat by the fire, and all of us, there was the whole NBC crew, and every 15 minutes, he'd get up and call Nicole. Every 15 minutes. And I said to Bud the next day, why can't you be the kind of husband OJ is? <laughs> you don't oh, want that, Louie. Really well, that's about his wife. more stories there. Well, then. We love knowing that Linda's friends with all the Spent the night with OJ. <laughs> we were all in the living we're room, all 10 of us. <laughs> The official Suncoast Storm Team at ABC7. We're here for you. I heard about the Detoli Cancer Center through friends of mine who had been treated here and were very pleased with the treatment. If there is prostate cancer, we at the Detoli Cancer Center will find it using 3D color flow Doppler ultrasound. And that helped precisely identify where my cancer was and some additional cancers that were not found during the biopsy. I would recommend the Detoli Cancer Center. As a group of human beings, they are unbelievably great. From our studios on Florida Sun Coast, this is an ABC7 News Update. Hello, I'm Scott Dennis. Here's what's coming up at the top of the hour. A new beginning for a dog renamed Hope after a Sarasota woman, her previous owner, was arrested for animal cruelty. In Suncoast Traffic Watch right now, if you're thinking about heading out on the roads, looks pretty good out there. A lot of green on the map, especially along I-75 in Sarasota County. Looking good. Now it's over to Steve again for a check on our weather. Hey, hey Scott, I hope you like those storms we got this morning. They've been gone for the last six hours or so, but more could develop overnight. So we're not out of the woods for more rumbling of thunder across the Sun Coast for the rest of this evening and tomorrow. Right now we have some fairly strong storms, not only the immediate Sun Coast, but up uh, around the Duet area. And th this is our future cast uh, that takes us through the evening hours. It shows we'll have additional showers popping up, but all in all, there's very little change going on through the rest of the weekend. Our complete forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Stay tuned. Start your day with a new Good Morning Sun Coast team. Weekday starting at 5 a.m. Call to see if you qualify to enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan right now. At Humana, we believe great things are ahead of you when you start with healthy. And part of staying healthy means choosing the right Medicare plan. Humana can help. With original Medicare, you're covered for hospital stays and doctor office visits when you're sick, but keep in mind you'll have to pay a deductible for each. A Medicare supplement plan can cover your deductibles and coinsurance, but you may pay higher premiums than you do with other plans, and prescription drug coverage isn't included. But with an all-in-one Humana Medicare Advantage plan, you could get all that coverage plus Part D prescription drug benefits, all for an affordable monthly plan premium, and in some areas, no plan premium. It's all described in this free book and DVD. Call for yours and discover how an all-in-one Medicare Advantage plan from Humana could save you money. Call 1-800-558-8779. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. 
Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now, make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-685-6422, 800-685-6422. For the last 18 years, Samantha's Friends has been assisting people along the Sun Coast who have been challenged by catastrophic illnesses or affected by autism obtain a service canine. We need your help. Please show your support by attending our annual celebrity gala brunch and fundraiser. Call Sammy Lee at 941-448-448. 8558 for more information. Welcome back, everybody. We are in the kitchen with John Ford from Jack Dusty at the Ritz Carlton, and it already smells delicious. Absolutely. <laughs> we are ready to help. Yes, you. we Good. are. Okay, we have a lot of work to do here if we're going to do this. So, we're going to go ahead and get our corn ragu mm -hmm. working here. All right, we got our oil going here. You're going to go ahead and put this onion. All the onions? All of it. Go for it. Okay. I've measured it out for you. I made it easy. The next thing, All right. Okay. Just the onions. Just the onions. Just the onions. Let them sweat for a second. Sweat and then once sweat. they get a little bit translucent, you'll just go right down the list. And okay. what else is that? So that's ham? We have a little bit of andouille. Oh, uh, sausage. Uh, you can also him. use, absolutely, we can use um, <laughs> chorizo or if you have a local uh, butcher, uh, they're fantastic for making custom sausages to go and you can enhance it with any different type. Corn goes great with sausage, so okay. you really, there's no, uh, there's no loser there. You just okay? tell me when it's time. Absolutely. When they've sweated enough and I'll dump them in. Absolutely. So now we have to get our, our scallops going here. Uh -huh. So you're going to go ahead and season those up very nicely. If you want to hit them with pepper right after I hit them with salt. Okay. Thank you. Do you do both sides or no? Uh, these big fat guys here, we do one, we do both sides. So you want to get a nice caramelization on both sides. Good All right. Job, okay. So All once right. I do that, do I put it in now? Or now do we're going to be putting it in a pan here, and you're going to, boom, yes, excellent. You hear that sizzle? That's what you want to hear. So you were just telling us there's a top and a bottom for scallops. I didn't know that. Yes, sir. You open them up, and he has his top side, and he has his bottom side. You want to always make sure it's that slanted side is the part that you're searing. Okay. Uh, you're going to get a nice. Um, Caramelization on that side, and it's beautiful presentation. Slanted side soft, is the like bottom. Slanted side is the top. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you're gonna put top. That. Okay. I cut them. Sorry. That's okay. They're gonna they're gonna come together quite nicely. And then over here we have some samphire, otherwise known as sea bean or sea asparagus. These come from the New England area. They're also uh, quite prevalent over in England as well. And so she's just gonna be tipping, the, taking the tips off of those because they're a little bit more fibrous. Hold they have a little bit more of a root. So we can see what it yeah. is. They, I mean, they honestly look like something that grows in your garden. Absolutely. Yeah. You'll see them on the coastline. Do you um, eat them? You do eat them. Everything here, we absolutely make sure it's edible. Let's go ahead and put our yeah. Andouille in here. Andouille. Yes. Here comes the andouille. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. okay. And then the corn? There, uh, let, let's let, let oh, this render out a second. One thing at a time. Actually, okay. we can put our corn in now. Actually. Okay. Let it cook together. Perfect. Do I stir it or Excellent. does it cook Keep separately? stirring. So now this is the part that's crucial. You want to make sure uh -oh. you're stirring this because this corn is raw. And so it's going to start releasing these starches. This is kind of a risotto style dish, right? Okay. So the corn is going to start releasing the starches. Um, and that's what's going to end up thickening our stock and our cream when we put it in there. Got okay. It. So have you ever been home? Absolutely not, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Well, this will be a lovely corn risotto that we do here today. My first corn risotto there in you my go. lifetime. There you go. Okay. And we'll put our cream in. It looks yummy already. Absolutely. Well, you should start with Jack Dusty if you're going to make your first one, or eat your first one. That's right. I'll yeah. come there and That's eat right. my first one with you. Yeah. I mean, How does Bobeth know when it's time to flip so the So we've made, oh, once they're gold, really golden brown. They're not. Not not quite there. So uh, our stock here, we've made from the corn. So we've actually cut off the, the kernels, and then we've taken those cobs, those cores, uh -huh. and then we went ahead and um, reduced that down with some corn, some onions, some other aromatics uh, to make a nice, flavorful stock. You and that's where do all a lot of work on this. Yeah, we do try it. Let's get it on the heat here. Perfect. Um, all right, so we have our sea beans ready. As soon as we're ready to flip our scallops. You think that's good? No. Not quite there. Let's see, we get some more firepower here, right? You can see they're uh -huh. cooking, but they're not there yet. Okay. Move them to the center. So we can put our samphire in now as well. All right. Perfect. Oh, so you cook these too. Yeah, so these are just going to be very lightly cooked uh, with the butter. Can you eat them raw? You can eat them raw. You can toss them with a little bit of salt and pepper or dressing. The one thing you want to keep in mind with them, matter of fact, not salt and pepper because they are a bit salty. Okay. okay. Now, what is Nikki doing and down there? And let's get our foam together here. So finally, we'll finish with our sea foam. This is a Pencil. beer. 
This is our beer foam here. <laughs> Go, Nikki. Hit it. Wait, am I going to spray it? There you Nothing go. like a, bo right. a, a small pan and a large mixer there. All right, well, right. while you work on the finishing touches with the foam, I want to thank everybody, especially Nikki, for joining us right. today. My and a big pleasure. reminder, we've been talking about Christmas in July. There is actually a toy nice donation drive going on on a North Beneva Road at the Sahib Shrine. That is coming up on Tuesday. They're collecting kids toys as part of Christmas in July. So mark your calendars for that on Tuesday. All right, you got it foamy. Yes. Absolutely. See it foam and see so, green. This is our Thanks to Jack Dusty. The Everybody take some time amazing. and enjoy the Suncoast view.